I don't believe in hell. Homily for July the 26, 2020, 17 Sunday in Ordinary Time in the Catholic uh, Liturgy. Uh, however, the readings of the Gospel, the Gospel readings will be the same old Gospel which are valid for, <laughs> which is valid for all Catholics and all Christians, whatever your brand of Christianity may be. So nowadays, it's not so uh, unusual to hear people say, uh, I don't believe in hell. And um, there seems to be like a kind of a self, uh, self-selective uh, Catholicity or Christianity going around. People may continue to call themselves Catholics or Christians, but the the content of what they believe, what, what they believe may be a little bit um, flaky, excuse me, or a little bit vague, and it doesn't seem to matter very much. That's just the way things are right now. So um, we're going to see, in case you're interested, what Jesus Christ, uh, the founder of Christianity, according to the title of C.H. Dodd's wonderful uh, book on Jesus, uh, what he has to say about this and uh, as I say this is in kind of like a, a people now want to have a, a Catholicity, a Christian faith, a Catholic faith which would be like a, a menu that was given to you at, 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 a, at a fancy restaurant and you have all these choices and you make your choice and you say well I, I like this and, and I don't like that and of course I'll be having arugula with my dessert and whatever excuse my salad <laughs> uh, whatever the case may be you know I choose my wine and so I make up my own meal and so there seems to be a lot of this going around kind of make it make up your own recipe your own menu uh, Christianity and uh, I'm afraid to say that uh, Jesus Christ, you know, the man, the person who uh, kind of started all of this, uh, would not be in agreement. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, our friend here, where's our friend, um, uh, has a wonderful melody and uh, it's become like an anthem now for many people, this, this song from the man across the water from Dublin. You know, there is no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us only sky. Imagine all the people Sharing for today. Imagine no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. And no religion to. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you join us. And the world will be as one. Well, in today's gospel, the man from Nazareth, uh, in Matthew thirteen forty-four to fifty-two, uh, talking in parables. Remember, we said that Matthew has his collections. Well, here we have another little collection of parables. And I'm not going to give you the whole dose of it, but um, here's a little one I found today apropos uh, John Lennon and uh, 
imagine. You know, I'm one of those accursed people who uh, who look at the uh, lyrics of the songs. I'm kind of a little bit obsession. One of those persons who listens to the lyrics and looks them up. You know, and of course, when I heard this as a priest, I, I was highly indignant. Hey, man, you know, hey, what about my faith? And uh, and as a priest, you're taking away my livelihood. <laughs> I don't have the same axe to grind now, but I still disagree with John. He had this, he kind of liked uh, this kind of shock value, you know, when he said that he was, they were just as important as Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> okay, John, whatever you say. But anyway, here we are with Jesus. What does he say? Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea. The sea for them was probably the Sea of Galilee, as we know, which is a big lake. Uh, which collect, uh, collects uh, fish of every kind. Uh, when it's full, they haul it ashore and uh, sit down to put what is good into buckets. This is very, very, isn't this very, um, what's the word, creative, very imaginative and very reflective of what Jesus would have seen precisely on the edge of Lake Nazareth uh, when he when he would go down and, and look at the fishermen, because evidently Jesus did this kind of thing. He was a, he was a keen observer of human nature and also uh, human human work, the jobs people did. You know, the sower we had last week went out to sow his seed and the cockle and the wheat, and so he has this. Now he's he's talking to fishermen. And so they they sit down, you know, they sit down on, on the sand, on the rocks, whatever, on the stones and, and start sorting out the fish. And probably the small ones they throw away to use as bait. How about that for my interpretation? And keep the good ones, you know, bring home to, to cook. Um, uh, what is bad? They throw away, according to this. Okay. Uh, Thus it will be. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and uh, separate the wicked from the righteous, and throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. You understand all these things? They answered, "Yes." And Jesus said, "I'm glad to know that." So. Uh, last week we uh, we kind of ha uh, asked the question. I asked the question about whether you know where the good seem to suffer and the evil doers and uh, seem to prevail and uh, in this world and go unpunished. Well, here here Jesus is is clearly talking about um, there being a reward and punishment, and therefore. Uh, there is some accountability. So, uh, you know, when we're, we're, we see them, people getting away with it, very smart people, they, they, they get away with it, at least in, in this world, or they do for many years. But here Jesus is saying that uh, you can't do whatever you want and that there is accountability. So this is my interpretation of Jesus. Maybe you have a different interpretation, but uh, it seems pretty clear to me. You, you can, you know, you can always write to me and say, um, I don't agree. And there's really nobody now going to stuff this down your throat. It's a question of uh, believing, not believing, uh, thinking Jesus uh, is important or he's not important. He's just another uh, wise man. Uh, like Buddha and others uh, in human history. So then you kind of, I think you kind of rule yourself out of the Christian thing then and you become like a religious person or, uh, you know, like a Buddhist, as my, my dear friend uh, has been telling me recently that uh, he doesn't believe in a lot of this stuff. So It's all up to you. And... Uh, have a good weekend, and above all, you know whether your uh, whatever your belief is. I hope you believe in COVID nineteen and um, do not take it lightly, and do not play with it. Uh, 
Hopefully not play with your own life and play with the lives of others. Hopefully you have at least you have that moral, uh, you no know, solid rock conviction uh, not to harm yourself and, and not to uh, harm others. Take it easy. Take it easy, chaps and uh, lads and lassies, and uh, talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks for listening.